What's up guys, Dave coming back at you again with another video. Well, we just got back from our big trip to Lake Winnebago, Wisconsin. Lots of pics from that trip on our Instagram, so be sure to follow us on Instagram, link in the description below. Anyway, the boat got filthy on this trip. I'm not even sure how. I made everyone take off their shoes and it's still a mess. Bugs were insane there and we got dead bug bodies all over the floor. It's a total mess. You can see the bulk of the stains appear to be back here on the swim deck. Lots to clean up. With that said, I decided to make this video comparing how well Deck Magic performs against soapy water. According to the frequently asked questions on Sea Deck's website, they say the best methods for cleaning Sea Deck are Deck Magic, or if Deck Magic is not available, they recommend soap and water. But they do not specify what kind of soap to use. With that said, you will have to decide what kind of soap you want to use, whether it be automotive soap, boat soap, or whatever other soap you feel comfortable with using. In this example, I chose to use regular dish soap. Now, I understand that dish soap can be a controversial choice, but it's all I had laying around when I went to do this, and I'm personally okay with using it at this time. Going forward, I may use automotive or boat wash soap. Regardless, you use whatever soap you are comfortable with. Quick disclaimer, I am not sponsored by or affiliated with Sea Deck in any way. I am not getting paid to make this video. This is simply me cleaning my Sea Deck and sharing what I did and my honest opinion. Please, do only what you are comfortable with doing. With that said, let's start with soap and water. Alright, so the first thing I did here to hopefully make it a little easier, um, I removed both front seats. I also used these RV leveling blocks to raise this side of the trailer so that all the water flows to the drain holes. I'm going to start by using this automotive soft bristle brush. All right, I'm going to switch brushes now. This one's a very soft brush. Now I'm going to go with a little bit stiffer, stiffer bristles. So the soapy water actually didn't do too bad of a job here. It got that stain out. Um, it took, you know, two tries, one with the uh, soft bristle brush and one with the more coarse bristle brush. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is this whole pad with the deck magic now, and we're gonna see what it looks like. You can see the stains, hopefully. According to the deck magic instructions, what we're going to want to do is spray this on the pad, then we're going to want to work it in with a brush just like we did the soapy water. Then we're going to want to let it sit 5-10 to 10 minutes, work it in again with the brush, and then hose it off. A few moments later. Okay, so let's take a close-up look here. This was the side that was done with the uh, soapy water. And it looks pretty dang good. And then we'll look at that spot that had the really bit, pretty good stain over here. As you can see, it looks really good. Stain's completely gone. All right, now let's check out the side we used the uh, deck magic. But this side doesn't look bad either. 
Just a few important things to mention and my final thoughts. One of the big things that I do not like about Deck Magic is that it appears to be somewhat toxic based on the information on the label. Deck Magic recommends that you use rubber gloves and not to let it come into contact with your skin. Therefore, the soap and water solution is much easier to use because I did not need to worry about it coming into contact with my skin and I could do a very large area all at once. Both products seem to work better when using a more mid-range stiffness of bristle brush over the soft bristle brush. However, you will have to use the brush that you are comfortable with. It probably is possible that over time a stiffer brush could wear down your C-Deck. I don't know. But ultimately, it would probably depend on how often you give your C-Deck a good scrub down. Both products seem to get the final outcome desired. With all that being said, it would appear that the soap and water is the clear winner. Now, am I suggesting that there's no reason to get some deck magic? Absolutely not. What I plan to do is use the dish soap and water to clean my sea deck, and for those tough to get out stains, I will use the deck magic. As a spot cleaner, if you will. And maybe that's exactly what deck magic is intended for, I'm not sure. But I intend to have a bottle of deck magic on hand for that reason. Let me know your thoughts or your experiences cleaning your sea deck in the comments below. Any extra input will help out the community. Be sure to check out all the links in the description below. Smash that subscribe button so you get notified when we upload new videos. And give this video a like if you thought it was a good comparison of the two products. And we'll catch you in the next one. Peace!